Could ZTNA replace VPNs? Maybe, but for good reason. Zero Trust Network Access, or ZTNA, is an identity-based security model, not a specific product. So, it can be implemented different ways and offer multiple benefits. As cloud migration and remote work accelerate, and with new and constant data privacy regulations, ZTNA's flexible deployment can equip enterprises for the future of network security. Here's how. ZTNA assumes all devices and users whether inside or outside a network, are untrusted. Only after identity is verified by a trust broker does ZTNA establish trust and provide access. This process is context-based. Security teams grant access to applications and data based on the principle of least privilege. ZTNA treats the internet as an untrusted point of access. Direct internet access, whether on-premise through a VPN or cloud-based, exposes IP addresses, which can leave users or resources open to attack. With ZTNA, IoT and end-user device IP addresses are hidden, which reduces the attack surface and enables more secure remote access. ZTNA can identify malicious or unusual behavior. For example, it flags attempts to access restricted resources or download massive quantities of data. ZTNA provides centralized control to act on these behaviors and better secure perimeterless distributed IT environments. ZTNA can be deployed as hardware, software, or as a service models. Meaning, ZTNA accommodates increasingly cloud-based and internet-dependent enterprises. It will also become a key principle of Secure Access Service Edge, or SASE, which provides a converged network security service at the edge. Both distributed models have no security perimeter and both assume any traffic flow could be malicious. ZTNA fills the gaps of VPN access. Though a network security mainstay, VPNs struggle to accommodate cloud. VPNs' problems with scaling, managing, and troubleshooting, combined with the disappearing network perimeter, contribute to the push for ZTNA adoption. Want to learn how to define zero trust network policies? Click on the link above or in the description below for an outline of ZTNA policies. Has your organization implemented ZTNA? Does it plan to? Let us know your thoughts in the comments and be sure to hit that like button too.